My name's Hayley, um, Hayley Swinsko, um, and I work at Passenger Transport Services. I'm a business um, support assistant. My name is Nathan, and I work with the Organisational Transformation. I work specifically with the Customer Service Programme, and it's our role to make sure Night City Council services are accessible to the public. Basically, we deal with first line incidents or requests from IT. So it's everything from a new person starting all the way through to support until they leave. So we get to um, learn and earn um, and um, get paid minimum wage even though we're apprentices. I really, really do like it just for the opportunities and experiences that I've had working with people that I never thought I'd have a chance to work with. But what made me choose not to see a council was an apprenticeship because um, they're an award-winning provider for apprenticeships. And I think I definitely made the right decision with, with where I am. Get lots of support. My line manager is brilliant. And with the City Council, with thanks to the support, because the support is the massive thing that really helps you not. You don't ever feel like you're on your own. Yeah, it's just brilliant. I love it. I love the team. Yeah, it's brilliant. I really love it. You're treated like a colleague. You're not treated like a typical apprentice. They're amazing. It's good. Because with an apprenticeship with a private company, then you're on less than minimum wage, three pounds a month. Whereas me, I'm on minimum wage for my age. So I'm on the perfect wage. And plus to pay for all your training, which I don't have to pay for. Before the apprenticeship, I had a um, bad upbringing. Um, I did go to prison, and it scaled from there. Um, and then that turned my life around, made me turn my life around. Um, I come out, heard, heard about the apprenticeship to the council, went for it, got the interview, passed the interview, and now I work for the council. Because it, it's made me realise that there's more out there than the wrong side of the law. Um, now I've got a job, to, I've got a good job that I don't want to lose. Um, this job's helped me get my flat. It's helped me afford it, not a lot. It's helped me have money in my own pocket without borrowing money off family members. So it's like I've got too much to lose now. The career keeps me busy, keeps me off the streets, keeps me out of trouble. I've been able to uh, pay for stuff for my mum, make sure my dad's all right, make sure my sister's got what she needs. You know, those stereotypical, go make a coffee or go make a cup of tea, you're not treated like that. You're expected to perform as high as everybody else but obviously there's a little bit more support in certain things that you need. Have your say complaints team, Nathan speaking. Well, I've been to additional workshops, um, for example, the quality and diversity training, and I also get support and um, information given to me towards my MPQ level business for administration, so yeah. Whereas you're working, it's, you don't know what you're doing each day, and you don't, which is the best thing about it. This is Caroline speaking, how can I help? In like an office, you, you know what your day's planned out for the week, me, I don't. I, I know I, all I know is I start at eight and finish at four. Yeah, it's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I love it. I love it at my place, honestly. I really do. Everybody's dead great. Um, it's a lovely team. Being an apprentice and being paid while you're doing the job, you, you build that sense of confidence and that sense of professionalism and that sense of you can actually do it as opposed to just a piece of paper that's saying you can do it. Uh, because I think a lot of people look for experience more than qualifications because I've got qualifications but it didn't make no difference to me. Um, this sort of thing, but it's experience that gets you the position, I, I believe, also. I feel pretty proud because all the sculptures in town I'm currently helping with watering them, keeping them alive, up to date. And when you see people commenting on them, taking pictures with them, it just brings me joy because I know I've done that. I'm keeping it going for them. I did think they want, when I, when I ended up in prison, I did think that's it, there was no more second chances, and the council's given me the second chance. 